Hello everyone, we're going to be walking through the Petite Pony from the Royal Conservatory Preparatory level, uh, the 2018 edition. So this is on page six. Notice that we are in 3-4 time and that we start on a pickup measure, which is an incomplete measure, rhythmically speaking. One of the things you want to make sure that you don't do with any pickup measure is you make those pickup notes as important as the next downbeat. They are not. They need to be viewed as something leading into that next downbeat. So you wouldn't want to bang out something like that. You would want to have it more lead into the next thing. So what we're going to do is that we're just going to walk through this kind of beat by beat. Uh, and then I'll accompany a few tutorials or rather uh, some versions of me playing along to a metronome for you to help play along. Um, so let's just take it with our first three notes. We have our D, our D, and our C. Notice the C is a half note. That needs to ring through as your thumb is going to play the A. You do not want to lift that off. That's going to kind of empty out the sound a little bit. So we're going to have our E, our D, our C. Continuing on, we have our D, our C, and then notice here we have a B, but what's underneath the B is a rest. What the composer is telling you to do is to stop that bass A from ringing. How you're going to do that is that you're going to take your thumb and you're going to set it back down on the A. What you do not want to do is, which is very common in a lot of guitarists, which is doing something like this motion or bringing your palm down. It does not have to be a grand gesture. Just bring that thumb that you previously used to play the A and set it back down. Now this is a little bit of a tricky motion. If you're having a hard time doing this, uh, it's okay. You, you, you can just kind of forget about it for now. Um, so let's uh, let's see what that goes, what that looks like. We're gonna start with the D, C, Play the B, the thumb goes down and rests on that A. So here we go from the very beginning. Moving on, we have our B, C, D. Notice how then my thumb, when I play that D, my thumb goes down and stops the E, which is great because we need to play the E again. So then your thumb is already prepared. We have our B, our C, our D, thumbs down, plays, and we have a D A crescendo. And we have something next to uh, next to those next two notes, that E and the D, we have a breath mark. What the composer is telling you to do is that you can take a moment. That means that the, the first phrase has completed and we're beginning something we're beginning a new idea, so we wouldn't want to just blast through it. That's a moment of pause. We have our D, A crescendo, C. Crescendo. We have an A minor chord, and we got that squiggly line. What that means is to roll it. I find that that's actually a pretty tough thing for a lot of students to be able to do is to roll it, so you may feel free to bring your thumb through. You just don't want to have it all of a sudden, because we day crescendo, right? You wouldn't want to have it end on a on a big old loud note. It has to it has to follow what you what you did in music. So starting from the previous two measures, we have the A G sharp. Something like that. You can also use your eye finger if that thumb feels a little unnatural. Typically speaking, when you're playing with a thumb, you kind of want to bring your thumb and your wrist out. What that does is help create a little bit more of an even 
are wanting to try rolling, one of the things that I would recommend doing is first you're going to use your thumb on the bottom two notes, and then you're going to use your I finger on the third string, your M finger on the second, and your ring finger on the first string. So you're going to have thumb, thumb, index, middle, ring. Thumb, thumb, index, middle, ring. And just when you're first starting to roll, just make sure everything is nice and even, and then begin to slowly speed it up. set up a little consultation. Um, I do just want to make a note that the 2018 Royal Conservatory books, uh, especially the preparatory level, they really seem to have upped the challenge. So if you're looking for something that might be a little bit easier, feel free to send me a message, and I, especially if you're just starting out with classical guitar. Um, there, I think, are some easier pieces that might work better for you for starting out. So feel free to look for the uh, next few videos of me playing along. We're going to try to get this piece up to 60 beats per minute and then hopefully up to 76. While speed isn't always necessarily the most important thing you need to do, it is a great way to push yourself. Uh, but most importantly, make sure that you are using accurate fingerings and that you're playing musically. Uh, not always the most fun to listen to guitarists that aren't playing in an expressive or musical way as opposed to just playing fast and metronome. So thanks so much for tuning in and let me know if you have any questions.